Okay, so what causes the Doppler effect? Well, it's to do with the relative velocity of a sound source with respect to the observer. Now what this means is you can either have the sound source moving towards the observer who is listening or away from the observer. So we need to consider these two cases one at a time and look at the mathematics behind the shifting of the frequency. Okay, that was the sound of a tuning fork struck and then moved towards the microphone. Um, so hopefully you heard a slight change of pitch, which is um, the same as frequency. Um, slightly higher. Now it's quite hard to move it at any great speed towards the microphone without damaging things. So if you didn't hear much of a shift, that's the reason. A common example, of course, is the ambulance siren, which you would have all heard at some stage in your lives. When they're approaching you, the pitch appears to be slightly higher, and when they go past, certainly you should notice a drop in the frequency. Now this can be explained by considering what happens to the wavelength of the sound wave as it's approaching. What happens is that it appears to bunch up because every second that the ambulance is moving towards you it catches up with the next part of the wave that the siren sends out so that each wave bunches up and so you hear a higher frequency because of the shorter wavelength okay that was the sound of the tuning fork being struck and then moving away from the microphone. Now, of course, unfortunately, the, the loudness decreases as well, but hopefully you can hear the downshift in frequency or the lower pitch sound. And what causes this is that the ambulance or the tuning fork is now moving away from the observer or the microphone, and so each um, successive wave is having to travel a bit further than the last one, and this has the effect of stretching out the wavelength of the sound, and hence making the pitch lower. So the pitch, of course, corresponds to the lower frequency. Right, so here's another way of looking at this situation. If you were sitting here at position A, you would notice the wavelengths have bunched up because you would hear a higher frequency. If you were sitting over here at position B, you would notice the opposite effect. The wavelength would have increased, the pitch would be lower. If you were sitting normal to the source at position C, let's say the source was at point 3 at that time, then you would not notice a change of frequency. It would be the true frequency of the source. Of course, as it moves to, say, position 4, it starts leaving you, moving away from you slightly, so you would notice a lowering of the pitch. Right, the equation. The equation that describes the shift of frequency uh, is this one here. You can see it's given the symbol F dashed. That stands for the apparent frequency or the observed frequency for the Doppler effect. And it's related to uh, the speed of the wave, which is given the symbol V subscript W. In this case, of course, it's the speed of sound. And the true frequency is just F. And then the other symbol on the bottom line there is Vs. Vs stands for the source velocity, velocity of the sound source. So... Notice there's a plus and a minus sign uh, on the bottom line. The rule is when the um, sound source is approaching, you have to use the minus. And when the sound source is receding or moving away from the observer, use the plus sign. So that's the rule. You must remember that. Um, an example using this equation, the ambulance moves at 30 meters per second and the sound's a siren with frequency 400 hertz. 
The speed of sound is given as 330 meters per second. So what frequency will an observer hear when the ambulance is approaching? In this case, you need, need to use the equation above, but you use the minus sign on the bottom, so you'd write it out like this. Vf, sorry, Vwf over Vw minus the speed of the source, Vs. So we put those numbers in. Um, you would have 330, which is the speed of sound, the wave, sound, the wave speed in this case, times the 400 hertz on the top line. And you'd be dividing that by the 330 minus the speed of the ambulance, which is 30 meters per second in this case. So it'd be over 300. So just punching that in the calculator, I get 440. Uh, I can't quite squeeze the unit in there. We'll just put it here. Hertz. Notice that's a higher frequency than the 400. And we expect that because, the, in this case, the ambulance is approaching us. So what would the frequency be if it moved away from us? Well, once again, we use the equation before, uh, plugging in the wave speed times the true frequency on top, 400. But this time we're going to add the, the speed of the ambulance, which is 30, to the speed of the wave, which is 330. And I get an answer, 367 hertz. Certainly a lower frequency than the 400, and as we expect.